This way. We're gonna go right in here. Good boy. Fraser's here this morning to actually finish off enrollment for a new clinical trial. The vaccine is actually designed um, to potentially delay or prevent a variety of different kinds of cancers simultaneously. If it's successful in dogs, we're really hopeful that that will provide really encouraging evidence to pursue the same approach in people. Yeah, nice work. The kinds of cancer that dogs and humans get are very similar. The kinds of cancer that they get occur in the same environment that humans get cancer in. So we breathe the same air, our lawns are sprayed with the same chemicals. Dogs are the perfect intermediate model in this particular situation. Today he's going to get his first vaccine. Right. So I lost my dad when I was 15 years old to lung cancer. Seven years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Then my five-year-old lab was diagnosed with lymphoma. She passed away nine months afterwards. Our dogs are our best friends and they love us unconditionally. I jumped at the opportunity to help people now, down the road, in the future. Done. And doctors usually recommend vaccinating. Vaccines against infectious diseases have probably saved more lives than any other medical advance in the history of mankind. Cancer is a much tougher nut to crack, so this has been a really, really challenging target for a long, long time. We've been working on this for 12 years. We made it by screening uh, 800 dogs for the eight major cancers. And then we looked to see which, uh, what are called neoepitopes, foreign peptides that they produce, which ones of those are in common across all eight tumors. And we took 31 of those, and that's what we made the vaccine for. The dog's immune system will be prepared, pre-prepared, to see a tumor and kill it. Most people in the cancer community will still say that this is impossible because every tumor is personal. They may be right, but I think everybody that we've talked to in the community said there's a possibility it might work. And our rationale is that if there's a possibility it might work and the impact would be so big, it's worth taking that chance. 70% of the tumor deaths that occur in the world are in the developing countries. When we designed this, we always had the intention that it had to be inexpensive. I am a double cancer survivor. Those two experiences have certainly really hammered home on a personal level the fact that this line of research can be very important not only for our pets, but for us as well.